Hello, this is Susan coming to you from the hotel room in Georgia. Took the um, driver road test today and it worked out pretty good so far. Got the rest of orientation Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm considering doing a lease truck. So I'll talk to them tomorrow about that. You make payments for three years, and then you own it. You own the truck. And um, there's a potential to make 1000 to 1300 a week doing with the lease truck. So we'll see. I've heard both good things and bad things. It's almost 50-50. Even the guy who gave the road test today, he was a very religious guy, he was a pastor, and he's all, ask God about it, you know, if you should lease a truck, you have to ask God, and if God says it's okay, then you'll be a, su you'll be a success, and, uh, you know, if God says no, then you shouldn't do it, well, <laughs> I must have been asking God my whole life, and I made some good decisions and bad decisions. <laughs> How do I don't have a crystal ball. How do I know that the decision I make is going to work out or not until I actually do it? And it's either going to work out or it's not. It's either going to be good or it's going to be another nightmare to add to my long list of bad experiences in life. You know, <laughs> I think I'm willing to try a lot of things. And here is Kelly Louise. She would like to say hi to you. Come here, Kelly. Come here. Come on. Come say hi. Come say hi. Look. Look at the people. Huh? Can you can you say hi to the people? Kelly. Kelly, look. Let's see. I gotta get this camera pointing right at Kelly. There she is. Wait, come here. She's looking out the window. Come here. No, don't worry. Shh, come here. Come here. Kiss this. <laughs> She's mama's girl. She's mama's girl. She said, Mama, what you doing, honey? You got us going all over the place? Hmm? What's mama doing? I love you, baby. I love you, sweetheart. She's my mama's girl. She is. Take care of my baby. Yeah. We will hope we pass the physical. I uh, read online where they have kind of a disadvantage to women when they do the um, physical test. They have it to where you have to lift boxes, heavy box, and carry, run it around the hallway and everything. And then you're all winded out of breath and uh, then they take you like your blood pressure or something or naturally it's going to be high if you're out running around carrying heavy boxes and everything and then they they said that uh, you're going to put the box way up high so if you're short and you're female you might be screwed you know so ever never ending drama here if for some reason this job doesn't work out, see, you're not guaranteed, just because you go to orientation doesn't guarantee you got the job. You have to pass the physical and have to pass the background checks and have to pass all the things that they throw at you. And then there's, there's people who've been waiting a week to two weeks for their truck, which is pretty bad. So I don't know what will happen in the next few days if Wednesday comes and they say congratulations you are officially hired now you sit around for two weeks waiting for a truck <laughs> great exciting yippee okay <laughs> um, now this whole lease thing though okay the Peterbilt trucks I've heard nothing but bad about them like Peterbilt's are junk the engine, I think it's the cat engine, junk. So, 
a Volvo or a Freightliner is a better deal. So again, I'll find out a whole bunch more tomorrow and let you guys know. But in the meantime, this is basically it. We're sitting here Sunday. Did the road test, got out about noon, got some lunch, and then this hotel has a swimming pool. And I haven't been in a swimming pool in I don't know how many years. And they have these uh, the little air mattress thing that you lay on and you float on. And I was just loving it. I was just swimming and floating on that thing and paddling back and forth, back and forth, you know. I stayed in the pool for probably an hour. So that was really nice. A uh, little bit of a luxury in, in the middle of this mystery. So I'm using the webcam and microphone with my new little netbook computer. This thing is so cool. It's just a little itty bitty thing. It's an Acer 10.1 inch. It's the most basic one you can get with the uh, Windows 7 starter. And Windows 7 starter, it's got everything. I, you know, I've got the other Windows 7 at home. It's got a bunch of stuff too, but and then I downloaded iTunes yesterday, and so I'm just playing with this thing. I love it. It was $248 at Walmart, and it's one of the last things I purchased before I threw in the towel on my trying to work at home, you know, adventure. And also, I've been looking online, since I can get online with the Wi-Fi with this thing. Um, if for some reason U.S. Express doesn't work out, and they say, goodbye, go home. Well, I've got my pickup truck here because Kelly and I drove up. Kelly navigated while I drove. <laughs> and um, so I've got, of course, some money to make sure I get home again. But I was already looking on the Internet for alternative jobs. And I swear I will hit the ground running. I will bother every single business in the city of, you know, at least Gainesville, Newberry, Archer, Williston whatever all around I will bother every single business every business I will call them you know I don't I might wind up with three or four jobs I, I first I'm looking at the truck driving jobs and see one thing if you lease too a lot of times they uh, they'll let you have a pet if you're an owner operator then you can have a pet because it's your truck so anyhow I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll keep you informed. And this is a cool little thing. Now, as far as uh, podcasts, I I don't have my equipment and all that. And so instead of podcasts, you, how about this? <laughs> you know, would you like to have this instead? You can have this for now instead of podcasts for a while. I was cutting down on a lot of expenses, so I cut a lot of stuff, and part of that was Libsyn. It had to go. Sorry, Libsyn. Even though Libsyn is great, there's nothing wrong with them. You should try Libsyn if you're going to do a podcast. But anyway, okay, how long has this thing been going for? Eight minutes. Okay, here's Kelly Louise. She's going to say goodbye. She's going to say, where's Kelly? There she is. There she is. Mama's girl. Hmm? <laughs> okay, anyhow, I love my dog. I love Tinkerbell too. Tinky got a new home, and so I think she's going to be pretty happy. And this is blurry. I should hold it still. Okay, thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Alright, bye-bye.